guys and welcome to today's video. I hope you all are having a great week. In today's video, I'm actually going to bring you along. The kids are napping and I have two small household projects that I think will transform some of our organization. One is downstairs here under our stairs. We have a coat closet and there's just wasted space back there and that project does require tools. And one is on our refrigerator. There's a top section there where I kind of keep the kids stuff that I'm going to do a small little organizational change to. It's really simple. I don't know why I'm putting this in the video, but I thought I'd share it anyways. Anyway, so let me show you what we're doing today. So here is our refrigerator, and when you open it, it's quite a disaster. I'm just gonna be real life right with you right now, and also, we really need to go grocery shopping. But, um, on the top here is the kids' stuff, minus the wine in the back, which we don't even drink it, so I don't even know how old that is. But they were gifts. Um, so, Besides that, everything else is on the top. Usually we keep milk right here, but we're out of milk. This is um, mangoes for Max. I think it says Max mangoes and the date. And then some prunes. This is his milk, yogurt, and then stuff for Lily's lunches. And this is always just kind of a disaster up here. And in the mornings when I make her lunch, I kind of like taken out multiple things. So I want to do, I bought a bin to kind of put up there and organize some of their stuff. And we're going to see how well that works in the next week. So like when I'm making lunches, I can just grab the bin and it has everything that I need. That's the plan at least. So let me get started on that. Seriously, the easiest thing ever. There it is in all of its glory, and then I'll put the milk, her milk, up here. But this, seriously, I could just pull this out in the mornings, and it has everything I need. Um, I'll even probably put her string cheese up here, because that's the other thing that we usually put in her lunches. And then I think this mango stuff is about time to get rid of. So, yeah. That is it for the Top Shelf organization. And I plan on getting more bins like that and doing some other stuff in here because it's just not functioning and it's always chaotic no matter how much I clean it and reorganize it. So let's move on to project number two. This is our hall closet downstairs here um, that holds, let me go through what it holds. So right now it has some coats. I got rid of a bunch of coats already. Um, then over here, that's Mega's little jacket. Um, we have our was this vacuum and like a steam cleaner and then this right here holds all of like ribbons and tapes and scissors and like wrapping stuff we have tissue up here this was a new thing that we got recently because this stuff used to be in max's room when it was just my craft room slash guest room so now that's where that all goes up top here is where everything's kind of a mess and i need to reorganize so that's part of the project um, over here we just have some umbrellas. This is a little bag that we take to the pool, so it's kind of filled with pool stuff. So part of what I did last weekend is I introduced this little basket into here. Let me roll this out. So this I'm kind of making like a little learning center that has stuff for Lily. So we have flashcards down here that we use. We have um, letter magnets that go on the fridge. We have coloring stuff. These are her crayons. We have glue in here. These are some um, little learning coloring water things. These are actually really cool and I highly recommend them. They come with this, they're by Bliss and Doug, they come with this water pen and then you just um, color with the water and this all, all of this like turns colors and stuff and then when it dries it goes white again and she can use it over and over. So we have letters and numbers, she loves those. And this is kind of random stuff that I still need to do stuff with but this is kind of holds all the bubble galore stuff and some chalk so this stuff and this is like eggs from Easter so this I'm getting rid of but and then we also usually oh yeah coloring books are in here too so I'm trying to make this more of her learning section school stuff that we get out just to you know do school stuff so that's on wheels we have paper here this is Andrew's gym bag and then I keep random like frames and home decor stuff over here and these are kind of uh bags full of like there are grab-and-go emergency bags. We'll just say that. There's two of them back there full of tons of stuff. Food, toiletries, survival stuff. So that is how this is organized. But let me show you what I found. In the back here behind all of this is this deep space back here. I mean, it goes back pretty far. So I'm actually going to put a shelf 
back there and I'm going to put like our battery storage which let me show you what I have for that I bought these tackle boxes clearly I'm low on batteries so I bought this tackle box to kind of store all of our batteries in I have another box here that I'm going to use for like random I think home decor stuff and I got some brackets here for our shelves so I'm gonna put a shelf back in the closet there that I can put light bulbs because we have light bulbs just everywhere in the garage some up in this closet I'm gonna put battery storage back there and I'm not sure what else but so that is today's project all I have to say is I'm gonna install um, a shelf back there to help with the organization so let's get started on that We have a shelf. So this closet obviously never got painted since we moved in. It needs to be done, but in the meantime, we have a shelf back there to organize. Okay, so I've semi-organized this now, so let me show you what I've done in here. So this is the shelf back here. I need to get like some sort of light, like a touch light or something, I don't know. Okay, so first, this is the battery box that clearly needs to be filled. Um, and in this box, I have like command hooks that I use, especially during the holidays. Um, some little felt pads that go on our chairs and then some uh, wire. And then I'm also keeping in here, this is my little tool set. Literally it has all the like bare necessities that you need. And I think we got this at like Ikea for like maybe $15. It's so cool. So I'm going to keep my tool set in here. So anytime I need it, I can just come in here and have to go in the garage. And these bins here I got at the dollar store a while ago and I just this one is full of all different light bulbs that we have so we could just pull this out to get our light bulbs and I decided to put the bubble ones back here because if any of you have a toddler you know as soon as your kid sees the bubbles that's all they want so I'm gonna hide it in the corner here so it can only come out when we want the bubbles to come out so that is how I have it organized so far so let me go ahead and put the coats back in and then clean up what's up here it's done. I have everything back together up here. I'm just keeping for now um, flashlights and these are just empty storage organized containers for now. I'm going to keep up there but the coats are back in. Everything's back in its place. And it's just tucked back here is the shelf. I mean I totally have room to put like another shelf if I wanted or some hooks to hang up those bags if I wanted but for now seriously it's such a huge help to have just that shelf back there with those small things that were kind of just everywhere in the house. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button if you're new to my channel. I would love for you to sub subscribe, sub sub subscribe, subscribe. And I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration to kind of look around at small little areas in your house that you can make functional by just adding a couple little things because I really feel like this is going to be super helpful for me. So yeah, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!